wanted to show a quick comparison on the SL L8 and the Testo 316-4. This is the HFC reference leak and it's just a gel. Look inside there. It's just a gel. It evaporates, releases small amount. No other leak detectors can pick this up except the there's one that's eh, on the list. This is the most sensitive one I've seen so far, but I'm comparing it. This is a new leak detector that just came out, the Testo. I actually had to order that from Japan. You can't even get it in the U.S. yet. So, here's the field piece. So right there, three quarters of an inch away. Yeah, an inch away. Here's the Testo. It turns red. That's about an inch and a quarter away. So we got quite a bit of better sensitivity on the Testo. It's going to be interesting to see what the parts per million does, but so far this is looking good. They don't say what the sensor is, but it is getting hot. And, uh, and here you can tell it's even temperature compensated. You hear it start beeping when I touched it. And they do have a little fan which draws air over the sensor. Uh, this is phenomenal sensitivity. You have no problem finding leaks. Let's see which way the wind's blowing. Back to the field piece. One thing I'm really interested in seeing it picked it up further is how squirrely this is the field piece is great it, you're not going to miss any 410 leaks but it's very squirrely it gets a little bit better with the painters tape wrapped around it but it's uh you still got to put up with a lot of nuisance trips with this leak detector but there's nothing else as good if this turns out to not have nuisance trips and the same sensitivity or better this is going to be a real winner so I'll let you know on that. I'll do some testing on it. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.